Hey everyone, it's Wes and here's my top 3 iOS 16 features. If you want to see all new iOS 16 features, this video isn't for you because in here I'm just going to focus on my top 3 favorites. And as always, I'm going to start with my most favorite feature, my top 1, and that is the new lock screen. Finally, customization on an Apple device. Now I'm the type of person who loves the minimal look of the iPhone. It doesn't have a lot of customizations but it gives you the best and the most generic design that everyone can accept. But in iOS 16, the lock screen may seem like it will be cluttered but I don't think that's going to be a bad idea because at least I have the option to change it whenever I want to. So yeah, the lock screen is great. You can change the font style of the clock now. You can change the color of the clock. Like before where if you have a bright color wallpaper in your lock screen, the clock and other text inside the lock screen will change into black color and on the other hand if you have a darker wallpaper the text on the lock screen will change into white and that's it you only have two options but now you have a ton of them what comes also with the new lock screen in ios 16 is the ability to add widgets on the lock screen itself unlike before where if you want widgets without opening your phone or at least without unlocking your phone uh, you have you still have to swipe to the right to get your widgets right now you don't need to swipe anything because it's right there in front of your lock screen and also you can add additional information beside the date which is now on the top of the clock I also like that my second best feature of the iOS 16 is the ability to remove the subject from the background now I really like this feature because you can easily remove the subject that you want to remove from the background and separate it from the whole picture and create a PNG. This is great for thumbnails, for posters, and other types of graphic designs. Although the one caveat here is that you cannot save it directly and you can just put that picture on a text box, whether it may be a messenger app or messages or a notes app. And then after that, there you can save the photo. A minor complaint, but overall, still a great feature. And my third favorite feature of iOS 16, and this is somehow kind of overlooked by other features that we can see on the internet, and I don't think a lot of people know this, and that is the ability to copy and paste adjustments and filters of photos inside the stock photos app. It is amazing. Before Apple upgraded their photo editing game two or three years ago, I used Lightroom and Visco. But since then, I'm now just using the stock photos app and having this additional feature is kind of very important for me. So yeah, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, you can give it a like. If you want to see more like this, you can subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.